Eagles are firmly in control of the Battle of the Gridiron Stars. Two rounds of competition, two victories. Today, it's four new challenges as Peyton Manning and the Americans hope to regain momentum, while the Jeremiah Trotter-led Nationals look to continue their domination. Who will strike first? Who can navigate the rough seas? Who can deliver the big hits? And which conference is truly more powerful? It's the Americans against the Nationals. The Battle of the Gridiron Stars continues. The best of the best in professional football go head to head in the ultimate team showdown for the Americans. Peyton Manning, quarterback. Hans Ward, wide receiver. Marvin Harrison, wide receiver. Larry Johnson, running back. Joey Porter, outside linebacker. Todd Heath, tight end. Derek Burgess, defensive end. Willis McGahee, running back. John Lynch, free safety. Chad Johnson, P wide receiver, American. For the Nationals. Clint Poyters, running back. Antoine Bowden, wide receiver. Eli Manning, quarterback. Jeremiah Trotter, middle linebacker. Jason Witten, tight end. Monty Toomer, wide receiver. Lance Briggs, outside linebacker. Joe Jervicious, wide receiver. O.C. Manor, defensive end. Jake DeLone, quarterback, Nationals. This is ESPN's Battle of the Gridiron Stars. Presented by Goodyear. You're looking at Expedition Everest, the newest attraction here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park in Florida, where you can come face to face with the legendary Yeti. Standing next to the legendary Kirk Herbstreet, Mike Tirico, glad you're back. The first two weeks of our competition, really good stuff. Guys have gone at it, and we are expecting more of the same today. Well, today, Mike, we have the American squad led by Super Bowl MVP Heinz Ward. His teammate, of course, is Joey Porter. He'll be here. And one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, Peyton Manning. Boy, some stars on one side. Across the ball for the Nationals, not only do we have stars, we got some cards, some personalities. Well, the personalities will drive it for the Nationals, starting with Jeremiah Trotter. He's a fierce competitor, but also likes to keep things a little bit loose. And Washington running back Clinton Portis. With Clinton, you never know what you're going to get with him. Who knows what characters he's brought with him out of that Redskins locker room. Also playing for the Nationals, Eli Manning. He's going to try to help the Nationals avenge last year's loss to Big Brother's American team. So let's take a look at today's events. Oh, Mike, today our athletes will test their talents at the bowling alley. Next, it's the Speedy Sea-Doo competition, and they'll tee it up for distance at the longest drive, and finally, it'll get physical at the tug-of-war. The Nationals come in with a three-point lead as round three begins in our first event at the Dowdy Pavilion Bowling Lanes in Orlando. Time to lace them up. When the lights are on, we gotta get strikes. It's not gonna be pretty for me, man. I don't know how to bowl at all. Hopefully I'll knock one of those things down. What are those things called? <laughs> that don't count for nothing? I will knock at least one pin down by the end of the day. I only do two fingers, though. Just like that. Just keep it two thin, no thumb. Two fingers, spin it. That's how we do it right there. I'm pretty good bowling. I'm about a 150, 160. We go bowling like Pittsburgh. My whole game is to dominate Heinz Ward. The Heinz Ward. I hate Heinz Ward. Oh. It's the Super Bowl MVP. I should have been the Super Bowl MVP. I gotta beat you somehow. If I can't beat you in the Super Bowl, I might as well try and beat you bowling. I'm gonna show him a thing or two about bowling. So the gauntlet's been put down. The captains, Archie Manning from New Orleans, the former gridiron star in that Louisiana city, his counterpart, the snake, Kenny Stabler, trying to defend his championship for the Americans from last year. These two scouted their players during the practice frames, and from that, here is the lineup they have selected. Each athlete, Kirk, two frames to make their mark. Well, Kenny putting his experienced bowlers up early, and Archie leaving his better bowlers to bring it home for the later frames. Now, here's what happened in this event last year. It paid off that strategy. Algie Crumpler needed to mark in the 10th or lose. They came through with the strike. Then five more pins, victory. He got seven. The Nationals got the point.
That was last year. The Nationals try to follow that up, and Clinton Portis gets going for their side. Oh, That's yeah. That's right there. There you go. There you go. All right. He opens up with six. I got it. Don't worry, dog. I got it. I'm telling you. I got it. I got it. I got it, man. Go. Make sure I don't touch That'll Hines' work, ball CP. over there. Very confident. <laughs> Clinton challenging yeah, Hines face. Ward on is the ringer in this event. There it is. That's it right there. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey. 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 Oh, you were looking for Hines. Put your foot on the throat. Put your foot on his throat. Mike, I think Clinton wants a piece of Hines yeah. Ward in the individual matchup, even though it's a team event. And it is part of the uh, bigger picture, Kirk. We have six rounds, four events per round. One point for the first event, two points for the final. The winners, when all is said and done, will be the champions. Now Heinz Ward with his response. Certainly a better first ball. Hi, that's the money right there. Clinton Portis. You can tell the guys who bowl. Heinz with great technique. There it is. Oh, he chopped the wood there. Thought he had the spear converted. Look at him. He walked this one off. <laughs> well, Clinton Portis, he collects from Heinz Ward. Now try to make him pay even more. Oh, yeah. Right. Strike on the spare. <laughs> and he did it with the money already in his pocket. Clinton Portis is feeling it right now, and I think he knew he had to strike as soon as he got rid of the ball. And here he is with our Sam Ryan. Sam? Clinton, with a uh, new addition to his wardrobe, explain this. Yeah, uh, it's just on my hands, Ward money. Uh, he has no possible shot at beating me now, so um, <laughs> a strike and a spare. I'm on my way. Do you think uh, Heinz acted a little premature when he turned around and it looked like he had the spare or he thought he did? That's, that reminds you of an early end zone celebration, you know. Uh, don't celebrate before before you cross the goal line. And uh, I've never done it. Heinz have a couple times. So, I mean, it was just another one, in a Heinz Ward move. So Clinton with some tips for the Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> and a very good memory as well, Sam. Thank you. Ward didn't go, mark in the first. Oh! Oh! with a strike here in the second. Right, right. want to remind people that maybe he thinks that Clinton Portis feels that Heinz Ward is done. He can't catch him. But his his score obviously helps because it's not about one-on-one -on -one competition. It's about the cumulative score. That's right. OCU Manura <laughs> getting some late instruction. He will work off the strike. The good news is he's working off a strike, so the second ball will add to it. Oh, yeah. Something. Got three out of it. He was glad to pick up a few pins. But now an advantage for Todd Heap. Here's a guy that looks like serious technique. The hanging seven. To go Todd Heap in warm-ups using the two fingers. He's all about to spin, and oh my gosh, so close to a strike. Looked like that four pin was going to kick down the seven. It did not. Now to pick up the spare off the strike from the second. I like it, Heap. The spin. Attaboy. 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 Todd Heath converts the spare. So for all the talk from Clinton Portis, the American side works off the strike, gets a mark in the third, and they take the lead. As we come back, we'll see if the Americans can maintain that edge or if Eli Manning and the Nationals can rally. A battle of the gridiron stars on the lanes continues. Battle of the Gridiron Stars presented by Goodyear's Triple Tread Technology. Travel confidently in any weather, any time. Goodyear knows you're not the only one Thank you. who depends on your tires. That's why there's the Goodyear Wrangler with Silent Armor technology. It's engineered with a layer made with Kevlar for toughness and a quieter ride. The Goodyear Wrangler with Silent Armor technology so you can be there on the wing.
Productions of Goodyear. Someday, you'll be able to deliver your data how and where you need it along a secure local to global IP network. Someday, Someday, all your communications will work together through a wide range of IP solutions. Welcome to Verizon Business, where you'll get more than a network. You'll get the commitment of people who care about your business as much as you do. People who are accountable for making it all work for you. Someday is today. Verizon Business, where global capability comes together with personal accountability. Do you really need a titanium driver? That magnesium frame spinning reel? A 60 inch screen? Do you really need a motor oil that protects for 15,000 miles? Darn right. You deserve the best of the best. Mobile One Extended Performance. Advanced technology, proven anti-wear protection, guaranteed for 15,000 miles. Mobile One Extended Performance. The oil that's changing oil. Tomorrow night, do up at 7 on ESPN. Wednesday night baseball, Boston versus Cleveland. Next at bat, baseball tonight. On ESPN2 tomorrow night at 7, the Capital One College Football All-Star Challenge. They'll be talking smack about this event from years to come. Then at 9, Wednesday night fight steps into the ring. For all the latest all the time, turn to ESPN News. We start with bowling in this round, a spare and strike in the last frame, the Americans the edge, and we check in with Stacey Dale Schumann. Okay, Eli, you guys are working on a spare. How critical is your go of it here? Oh, we need we need this big. Uh, OC did a big job for us getting us the spare right there, mm -hmm. so we got to come up, I got to get a strike. Uh, they, they got a strike working for them already, and they got a little lead, so uh, these next two rolls are going to be big for us. You're awfully quiet, awfully nice. Do you have any words for... Mr. Uh, Porter over here. Yeah, I got nothing for him. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna let my bowling do my talking for me. <laughs> okay. Now I watched you warm up, mm. and uh, you have a very silky delivery. Where does that come from? Where does that come from? All the way from Bakersfield. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm gonna let my talking do my bowling. So okay. he going with the quiet approach. I'm gonna hackle him, mm -hmm. make him pick up a seven and another seven, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna come back with a strike and a spare. Okay. And there you have it. All right, hackling. That's what we're doing right now. Let's get it started, guys. Now, he has called a strike and a spare, I believe, Stace, so we'll keep an eye on that. Now, Eli Manning. Working off OCU Manure's spare from the fourth. Picks up seven. Eli just throwing it down the lane, trying to hit a... It's like an outcut there. Check down. Of course, Peyton there to offer encouragement to his younger brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Good work, good work. A nice conversion right. for the Nationals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Joey Porter. Personal foul, Joey Porter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm part of this new hikey moment. This is what it is. This is what it is. Moment, out of there. A lot of reaction out of bowling from these guys. How about the technique there by Joey Porter? Here's a guy that's definitely spent go, some baby. time bowling. A little bit of dance. A little dance after the strike. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Eli. Two marks there in the fifth. Eli working off a spare. <laughs> With eight. Eli is all about power. <laughs> Throwing it down as hard as he can. Great ball for her double wood, unable to get, so 79. Big advantage for the Americans now. Joey, I expect it powers just kind of laying it out there. It's like a knuckle ball when it goes down there. Second strike, and the Americans are starting to pull away from the Nationals. Yeah, turkey if you go back to the last one. I want my interview. I want my interview. Yes. Mike Reverse. Wow. Mike spin. Wow. 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 There by Joey Porter. There's his dance. 
And yes, Sam has his self-requested interview. So he can talk the talk, he can walk the walk. Joey Porter, uh, explain the little dance you had. You know, I'm part of this new Thiz movement, you know. From banks where we get hyphy out there. It's part of a new, whole new hyphy movement. So when y'all see me out there, there's and then I putting on my tee, y'all know what I mean. Y'all supposed to know what that means already. Okay, so we're supposed to know that. Two balls, two strikes. <laughs> That's all he needs. You're right, Sam. And now the Americans have a 30-pin lead at least, Kirk, going to the seventh. Not looking good for Jeremiah Trotter, who bowled very well last year. But the three straight strikes by the Americans have given them a nice lead. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, we have paint. That's not going to do it. He cracked. He cracked on the left. He performed well under pressure in this spot last year, like you were talking about. But now, if he doesn't convert this, the Nationals may be done. I would say that wasn't the down, 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 down. down goes the lumberjack. Tough crowd. <laughs> we got a beer face. <laughs> oh, that'll do it. Try to get us something. Right in the middle. I think Eli's form over Peyton's form. Yeah, I don't I don't think Archie took the young the young lads bowling very much down in Louisiana. Too busy throwing a football. They were working off the strikes from earlier. Hey! That way, Pete. That way, Pete. Now, that was not the easiest spare to pick up, but uh, he does, and the lead is at least 55 going to the eighth. A little bit better effort by Trotter, but and they might be mathematically eliminated. Getting the close. End of this frame. Yeah, getting close to it. You can't laugh when you go hide. Whatever about hell I know. That's it. Down here, baby. Good thing. Depending on what happens here. Good thing. 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 Good the Nationals will lose this round. Oh! Oh! He gets nine. Well, that's round. enough. Get it. Oh. And the Americans Man. win the point here in bowling. Glad you noticed that. Cannot leave a job undone. See if Peyton can convert what? the spare. No. no. Not there. That's too hard for real. That's too hard. We have <laughs> the Americans take the one point here in bowling to get on the board today. Mike, pretty good team effort here by the Americans. Todd Heap gets them started early with a big strike, but I think the shocker, Joey Porter, back-to-back -back strikes to put the nail in the coffin, and the Americans pick up a point. Here's Sam with the winning team. For the Americans, the smile on your face says it all, a laugh or total annihilation. What was the key for you guys? Well, real consistent. You know, Todd got us off to a start with a, a big hook of his. Joey had a double. Peyton was consistent and new, uh, new red team record. Well, Joey's had the talk going all along and all season long. You know that very well, Peyton. Right. But you guys have just seemed very modest. What's the key for you? Well, the team chemistry. Like you said, what you see, you see the bonding, you see the high-fiving, and uh, we got it going here in the bowling. It's going to continue through every other event. And I like that uh, word, red team annihilation. I expect that to continue. <laughs> red team, yep, the Americans do it. They didn't even need John Lynch. They will as the day goes on. So add the one point for the Americans. Our overall total leaves the Nationals two ahead. And up next, the water becomes a little less tranquil. And the later we'll see who's carrying a big stick. And the balance of power will be decided in the sand. In all the world, there are a select few who at their very core are capable of incredible transformation. Under the most grueling conditions, they are shaped Hardened. Sharpened. Ready to stand among the most elite of all warriors. The few. The proud. The Marines. Our workday never ends. I'm not saying our people don't go home or have lives. But ending our workday here doesn't stop our best thinking from moving forward someplace else. Dynamic networking from AT&T enables collaboration around the world and the clock. So Allen's company is always ahead of market demands, schedules, and the competition. The new AT&T. Your world delivered.
This Mother's Day, get the star treatment from Hallmark Channel and Mediacom phone service. Enter for a chance to win a trip for two to Hollywood. To enter, make a purchase using your Hallmark Gold Crown card at a participating Hallmark Gold Crown store. Enter by mail or visit HallmarkChannel.com. And don't miss the premiere of the Hallmark Channel original movie, Where There's a Will. Saturday, May 6th at 9, 8 central on Hallmark Channel. Tell mom she's a star using Mediacom phone service. Complete your next project faster with a Stanley Boss Stitch Nailer from Menards. This framing nailer is power-packed and features a lightweight, durable housing and adjustable depth control. Great for framing, decking, fencing, and more. Only $219. Get the quality lumber professionals use for your next project. All 2x4 through 2x12 construction lumber is on sale. Plus, there's zero payments and no interest till 2007 with your big card. Save big money at Menards. the world famous monorail entering the contemporary resort here at the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Time for event number two after the Americans won the bowling. The Nationals have the overall lead by two. We're off to the water. It's not a good sign when you don't even know where the key goes. This one of the favorite events around. I think all the players love to do the season with me. All the players, when they see that on the list, kind of get excited. I'm fired up about it. Try it slow, baby. You never know, baby. <laughs> you gotta pump your brakes and drive slow. I'm the worst. <laughs> We're feeling very confident about ourselves. No matter of not spinning out. If we don't spin out, we're good. They sound ready. Show us the course. Well, Mike, the key here is that you have to be able to get through the buoys and navigate yourself around as illustrated. Any buoy missed will be a five-second penalty on this two-lap course. Head-to-head -head races. The first to win three races wins the point. And the first head-to-head, -head, we will have Joey Porter go up against Joe Jurevicious. Of course, Joe Jurevicious now works in Cleveland for his football catching days, but he was on a national side in Seattle 2005. So he represents the Nationals in this event. And off they go. Not only playing professional football now, Mike, but growing up in Cleveland, you got to believe he was out on Lake Erie from time to time, out on the Sea Dudes. See if that helps him here. Jervicious on your left, Porter on the right. That noise you hear is not the uh, engine of the Sea Dudes. That's Joey Porter having a good time out there on the water. He's in the lead on Jervicious. Oh, and <laughs> Jervicious goes down. His teammates enjoyed it, but I think Joey's going to enjoy this even more. He will walk to victory. Joey Porter has a good time no matter where he is. You notice that? He certainly does, and he uh, finishes with a flourish as the Americans take heat one. Hey, hold on, huh? You win too much. Yeah, well, Joey Porter on. had the easy victory here, thanks in large part to Joe Jurevicius. I think just trying to catch up. I think he realized he needed to take a little bit of a gamble, and it backfires on him right there. So Joey Porter gains the first point for the Americans. Earlier, his teammate Hines Ward one-on-one -on -one with Jeremiah Trotter. We're here in Florida, the Sunshine State. Joined with me is Hines Ward, Super Bowl winner, MVP. Hines, you seem to be a primetime player. You, you won the Super Bowl, you won MVP, you won lifetime passes to Disney World. What's next? Uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of like Forrest Gump, man. I'm just <laughs> traveling along, whatever happens, happens. And, uh... That's how my life has been the last couple months. Tell me one thing, and the choir minds want to know out there, how was it to be Terrell Owens' teammate? It was fun, man. You know, it was cool. T.O. is an outstanding player, man. You know what he brings to the table. Stop lying. <laughs> Some of the fans want to know who has the best fans, Philadelphia or Pittsburgh. Oh. Uh <laughs> I'm not even going to let him answer that, because we have the best fans in the world, Pittsburgh Steelers. And uh, I'm going to end it on that note. Heinz Ward, Super Bowl MVP, Pittsburgh Steelers. We out. The Keystone State rivals with a couple of good laughs there. Now Heinz, serious look. Back to work trying to give the Americans a two-heat lead. 
over the always chatty Clinton Portis. Key here, Mike, is just getting off to a good start. Clinton Portis, of course, is familiar with riding these sea doos Hines Ward, I think, is the man to beat. Ward off the line first. Hines for the Americans. Left side of your screen. Portis on the top. You know, everybody thinks about having the speed, but when you have the speed, it makes it that much tougher to try to navigate yourself around the buoys. So it's really about course management. And right now, Heinz Ward has a substantial lead after the first lap. Remember, these guys went head-to-head -head in bowling. Money was exchanged. The challenge thrown up by Portis. Ward ended up paying there, but he's going to get revenge here, it looks like. But just watching these two, you can just see one guy is very familiar with the way to turn around the buoys, and the other is struggling, and Hines Ward is the victor. So the Americans get the first two heats. And sweet revenge exacted against Portis. thing that helped Hines Ward also was he got off to such a fast start right at the beginning. And I think any time you have a lead, it allows you to relax and maybe take your time a little bit around the buoys. His uh, angles, the apex out of the turn, so sharp. So the Americans up 2-0. What a surprise. We have Peyton going up against Eli, these guys who compete at everything. And if uh, Peyton beats his younger brother, the Americans will win the Sea Dew event. Big brother and little brother. Always fun competition between Eli and Peyton. Didn't Peyton beat him at this last year? Yes, he did. And not only that, they've already competed against each other in paintball, where Peyton was the victor. And then in the fishing, of course, Eli. So this is the rubber match. Right now, Eli with a slight lead as they approach the final lap. Good tight turn taken there. That buoy very close to call. Speaking close to call, this is going to come down to the wire here. It looks like Peyton is picking up now on some of Eli's lead. He might have taken the lead himself. He sure did around that top buoy by a hair. Look at them as they come down the stretch here. Peyton, good angle off the turn at the bottom of the screen. Peyton Manning wins this heat, and the Americans win the first three <laughs> and take the seed point. Out of baby. Good run, Big brother takes down little brother. The Americans are sitting pretty on the day. I was behind. That was a great race. Sure was. He did. He made a good turn. He made a good turn. So, Eli and the Nationals have uh, not won a point today, and now their lead in the overall competition. Just one point as we head to the team. We'll see these gridiron stars deal out some punishment on the little white ball. To the golf course we go next. Introducing the new X Games inspired Moto X bike. Built for performance, 20 inch BMX dual suspension, front and rear disc brakes, and Moto X styled saddle and fenders. Ride Moto X style. Goodyear knows you're not the only one who depends on your tires. That's why there's the Goodyear Wrangler with silent armor technology. It's engineered with a layer made with Kevlar for toughness and a quieter ride. The Goodyear Wrangler with silent armor technology so you can be there on the wings of Goodyear. Now, this here, that's the drain plug. It lets the oil drain out to the pan. Remember, she's got a lot of mileage on her, but one day, she'll be all yours. Help keep the family car in the family. With Valvoline Max Life, the most technically superior high-mileage motor oil, it's specially formulated to recondition seals to help prevent leaks, helping your high-mileage engine run for a long, long time. Now, for a limited time, try Max Life for free. Visit MaxLifeOil.com or call 877-MAXLIFE for details. Your business is on the move, and we're there for you every step of the way. We are Verizon Business. We're there for you with a global IP network that is flexible and secure. A network you can access how and where you need it. There with the expertise to help design and manage your most critical data solutions end to end. And at Verizon Business, we're there for you in the most important way. 
with a dedicated team that's personally and passionately committed to your success. People who are accountable for making it all work for you. Come on and we shine. Global capability with personal accountability. That works. Verizon Business. Mitch must be proud of his boy. How do you feel about yours, Bill? If you want him to throw 50 yards, well, give him 50 yards! Do you want your son's only glory to be belching the alphabet? No! You want to point proudly from the 50-yard line and say, that's my boy. Drinks like a soda, kicks like an energy drink. Vault, get to it! Time now for a Sports Center 30 at 30 update. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Levy. Ricky Williams suspended for the upcoming season for violating the league's substance abuse policy for the fourth time. His appeal was denied. Ricky said, I'm disappointed with the decision, but I respect it. Duke lacrosse player Colin Finnerty, who was charged with raping that exotic dancer, has been ordered to stand trial in an unrelated assault case. Finnerty and two friends have been accused of punching a man after he told him to stop calling him gay and other derogatory names. That according to court documents. And the Vancouver Canucks announced the firing of head coach Mark Crawford. He had Vancouver 10 over 500, but they missed the playoffs anyway. Sports Center, 11 Eastern. So we welcome you back to the Walt Disney World Resort here in Florida. The American side means business today. They've won the first two events. And as we move to Disney's Magnolia Golf Course for our third event of the day, it's time to tee it up and let it fly. We got a pretty good line here of guys. I think we're gonna take this one. When you get up there and the camera's on and the pressure's, the pressure's on you, you know, it, it, it'll make a lot of guys crack. This isn't gonna be a good competition for me. Golfing, I've never even held a golf club in my life. We got a couple guys that don't play golf. Nationals might be in trouble with me on that team. The long part's good. It's the, the straight part that I'm a little worried about. Yeah, I, I can't stand doing that sophisticated you golf. You know, I like to just get out there and whack away. You can't be intense on the golf course. You got to be relaxed and peace of mind. I know I ain't going to win this event, but I ain't going to lose it. Need Tiger Woods, my cousin. So uh, he gave me a couple pointers before I came out here. And I'm going to blast away today. All right, everything nice and easy, and to stay within yourself, let's get caught up, okay? One, two, three, red team. Red team! Well, the rules for the longest drive, each athlete will get three swings with only their single best yardage counting. The drive must stay within our boundaries. Then, the longest three qualifying drives will be added together to the team score. Well, Kirk, I like the Americans' chances because they don't have Chad Johnson. <laughs> Who they had last year. <laughs> and he set the sport back a generation. <laughs> but as only Chad can, he left us laughing. So the Americans have a better chance already. We haven't hit a ball yet. Joey Porter will get it going. Mike, the big challenge, of course, isn't so much to hit the ball with great velocity. It's just trying to keep it within the boundaries. These guys can hit the ball a long way. Oh, jeez. That out of Joey Porter out of the game. bad. Ground ball. That counts. Mm -hmm. It'll run out to, uh, let's see, get the number on it. Just under 250. 246 yards officially for that first one. That's it. Tiger Woods stinger, huh? Cut the wind. Cut the wind. That's the wind cutter. Yeah. 225, 250. That's a good one. Get out of All right. He flew it over 250 in the air. Oh, that's 300. One for the right. gate, dog. Just shy of the 265 <laughs> line. Yeah, 268, the official number there. And the most impressive thing here, Mike, is both. Oh, no. What's he doing here? Nope. <laughs> both his shots have been in uh, inbounds. Uh, yeah. Well, 268 will help the team for sure. What is back out on that one? 
Good, Good effort by yes, Joey Porter, Porter there. He gets skunked this time. Yes, 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 yes. Here's my underdog right here. I remember last year doing this event being so impressed with his technique. You can just tell from his setup. He, he he does this. He plays. You can tell the golfers right away. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's crushed. Oh, nice compact oh, back swing it, using that upper body strength yeah, through it. There's a big hill. Oh, 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 oh touch them all right at the 300 line. Wow. wow. Absolutely got routine. every Just ounce of that ball. Like that. 300. Right there. Here, baby. Here it is. Forward press might help him a little bit, but that's okay. Oh. Yeah. Cox it early, lets it go, and this one's wide. So that'll be uh, out of play. That one won't count. The one thing, Kirk, with these guys being so big, just a little bit of swing speed generated here, and off it goes. Ooh, Kirk. Yes. Come back. Stay in. That'll be another long one over 250 for sure in the air. That's in. Can it get to 300? Nope. Close. He flew that to 80. Final number 289. So the 300 counts, and the Nationals have a 32 yard lead. It's funny, you expect the quarterbacks to have the perfect technique and the ones hitting the ball the furthest in this event, but big, strong linebacker Jeremiah Trotter showing that he can hit the ball a long way and with great accuracy. This is just one of many golf facilities at the Walt Disney World Resort. University of Georgia. Number 86, Hines Ward. One of the largest golf resorts in the country. 99 holes of golf, and some of the best in the world come down here every fall. Woo! We'll play that one. Catch that wind stream up there. Where's we'll play that one. Go? Straight. 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 Cutting high. towards the middle a little bit. And be about oh, yeah. shy of that to 225 ah. marker. 220, the number for Hines Ward in that first one. Mike Hines has been competitive in every event that we have seen him. Just an all-around athlete. Oh! oh. See that shaft? <laughs> Boy, he created some club head speed there. This may go past 300. Stay in bounds. Oh, it's going to be close. Whoa, yeah, hey. got a good kick. <laughs> it's over there. 306, <laughs> Hines Ward. He'll lock I won't even knock me out the race. Man. What a big drive from Ward. And as you said, Kirk, so important. Even about a yard and a half, it stayed <laughs> in bounds. <laughs> hey, go for it, dog. You already over the hill. Just go for it. Uh, oh, it's in. Dang. I try to knock that one all the way back to the Magic Kingdom. But the Americans with a good 306 on the board from Ward. Hines Ward very accurate on this long drive over 300 yards. Look at the club speed that he's able to generate. And a lot of that had to do with him getting past parallel in his backswing generating a great deal of speed coming through with his club over 300 yards. Having some fun. <laughs> so an advantage now for the Americans. Eli Manning must come out and try to match that. There we go. Well, there's a guy who's played a bunch. But remember, it has to be straight. Oh, what? That was on its way to close to 300 yards if he would have just kept it within the boundaries. Sure was. But a great swim. Here you go, Eli. Hold on. This one is uh, bending as well. And out. Same spot. It's got to get on the board here. Like now, do you throttle back one? and try to keep it safe? They, they don't have it centered. And it's within centered. the boundaries, or you know, do you, you just aim farther that left? That well, I think I aim like just a little bit more to the left. Hey. Got it. They they need the points. Well, the problem with that is you lose distance. A bigger cut on the ball. Last one has to get on the board. There you go. There you I like go. that one. Got to stay yep. That has, come on, win. It's going to count. Now we just have to see how far it's going to go. My goodness. Right there at the back end. That's going to be about oh, yeah. 280, 285. Oh, yeah. number there. Didn't lose a lot of distance, Kirk, as he did play for a nice power fade. So very tight here. The Nationals lead, but just 11 yards the difference. Then bombs away for these guys. The longest drive competition when we come back. Job, we'll see who will get the point on the tee.
Matt Hasselbeck always knew he had what it takes to make it. With a father who played in the NFL, football's in his blood. But at Boston College, his star didn't rise, and he slipped all the way to the sixth round of the 98 draft. Coach Holmgren and the Packers saw his potential and groomed him under the tutelage of Brett Favre. Holmgren left for Seattle in 99 and brought Matt over two years later. Matt still struggled, even getting benched in favor of Trent Dilfer. But he continued to work and became the starter again in 2003. Three years and two Pro Bowls later, he's the top-rated quarterback in the NFC and the leader of the defending conference champions. He always knew he had what it takes, and so did Holmgren. The draft matters. Go deep. The NFL Draft, presented by Coors Light, begins Saturday at noon on ESPN. Someday, you'll be able to deliver your data how and where you need it along a secure local-to-global IP network. Someday, Someday, all your communications will work together through a wide range of IP solutions. Welcome to Verizon Business, where you'll get more than a network. You'll get the commitment of people who care about your business as much as you do. People who are accountable for making it all work for you. Someday is today. Verizon Business, where global capability comes together with personal accountability. Hair lacking some serious muscle? Can't take another break? Garnier Fructis, the first fortifying shampoo and conditioner system with the power of active fruit concentrate from Garnier. It's proven. The Garnier Fructis system makes hair five times stronger and so much shinier. Hair this strong never takes a break. For hair that shines with all its strength, Garnier Fructis. Garnier. In all the world, there are a select few who at their very core are capable of incredible transformation. Under the most grueling conditions, they are shaped, hardened, sharpened, ready to stand among the most elite of all warriors, the few, the proud, the Marines. Out here, you not only need the toughest side-by-side, -side, you need the one with long travel independent suspension, differential lock 4x4, and 12 inches of ground clearance. The Rhino 660 Automatic from Yamaha. A lot of people would be lost without it. For a limited time, get a Yamaha Rhino for as low as $69 a month. We welcome you back to Disney's Magnolia Golf Course at the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. The golf action national is desperate to get a victory and get a point here in our third event of the day. Slim hopes alive in the longest drive. Now, while we were away, O.C. Humanura took his swipes to the ball. Now, not a bad first go. effort after he made contact, but could not keep it in bounds. So Humanura did not score. Todd Heap oh, continues oh, to just oh. perform well in every event. 293 yards. We'll put that one on the board for the American side. Then the Nationals, Clinton, of course, let's just say uh, he played for a little slice. And uh, Kirk did not register on the board either. So Todd Heap's 293 yarder gives the Americans a lead. 282 yards for now. John Lynch, Joe Jerevicious, Peyton Manning still to go. On the tee, ladies and gentlemen, I love you, man. from Stanford, number 47, John Lynch. Boom. Sounds like Peyton Manning's hey, been to a golf to tournament before. A perfect hook, introduction. Power hook, baby. Now, I've power seen Lynch play before, Kirk. Yeah, he yeah. knows what he's doing. Isn't there an unwritten rule when you're from the same university as Tiger Woods? You have to be able to hit the ball? That's oh, yeah. good. Yeah. That's very good. Good, good. good draw. Kick left. Back in. Not, a, yes. not a great yardage, but... Let her rip now, John. Over, over the 250 marker. You know, you heard Peyton in the background say that one's 259 officially. Let it rip now. Looked like he was just trying to guide one in play. Now let's watch him send it deep here. Oh, stay in it over. Hooking left and going to be out. Out of bounds. One more swing here. Remember, uh, anything better than 268 Joey Porter's total will help the American side here. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, he likes that one. He likes that one a lot. Yo, man, that's out of the court. Look at this. Ooh. That is in play. You hit the tires. And over 300 yards. Wow. Let's get a number down there. 319 for John Lynch. Almost put it in the water behind. Wow. So John Lynch with the biggest shot of the competition. Mike, the Americans are sitting pretty. In his third attempt, John Lynch got every ounce of this ball. And I, I agree with you. I thought this ball was headed to the water. He's now with Sam Ryan to tell us about it. John Lynch, 319, eclipsing your teammate, Heinz Ward. Uh, we, I know you don't play all that much. What were you expecting? Well, I just uh, I knew if I could get one straight, I could put a jolt in one. And my problem is sometimes I'm right, sometimes I left, which you saw early. And then, I, you know, these guys fortunately put us out there so you could kind of get go ahead and, and let it rip. Now, I heard that your first tournament in Denver, your, your first charity <laughs> tournament, you got a hole in one. So how much of a natural are you? Not, not very much so, but uh, that was my head coach's tournament, the Mike Shanahan tournament. I had just been signed, actually, the couple days before they invited me out to play it, and I got my first hole in one, won a car, and uh, it was a big thrill. <laughs> so a warm welcome for you there, and he's setting the pace today, the long drive, 319. Oh, Thank now you, Sam. John holds a very fine tournament out in the San Diego area as well. Now Joe Jervish is tough spot. He needs to hit it 334 to win. Oh yeah. It's it so hard to hit it far when you are trying to hit it far. This one slices out of play. Sometimes when you try to hit it as hard as you can, you either come off balance or you put a, a slice on the ball with what he did in that first attempt. I'll eat. This one's going to turn back in play, but I don't think it can get to 334. Pretty good shot, though. There you go. Got you. <laughs> He's got some crunch in the ball. Yeah, it's like, oh, by the way, 293. These uh, drivers really do fly. Final one, he just has to let it all go here. Hey, Good swing. He had the Welcome. club right at parallel, oh. but uh, came out of it. This is going to go oh, out of bounds. So uh, the Americans are going to win the golf, and they're going to win the day. That is three points. The Americans winning the first three events. So not only do they get this point, but they get the day and square the overall competition at six and a half points each with one event remaining. Nice comeback for the Americans today. And when we come back, pride and a couple of points on the line. The tug of war and the Americans pull a complete sweep of the entire day from the Nationals. The Battle of the Gridiron Stars, presented by Goodyear's Silent Armor Technology, featuring a layer made with Kevlar. The NBA playoffs continue Friday at 8 on ESPN and ESPN2. Goodyear knows you're not the only one. Depends on your tires. That's why there's the Goodyear Wrangler with silent armor technology. It's engineered with a layer made with Kevlar for toughness and a quieter ride. The Goodyear Wrangler with silent armor technology, so you can be there on the wings of Goodyear. Do you really need a titanium driver? That magnesium frame spinning reel? A 60 inch screen? Do you really need a motor oil that protects for 15,000 miles? Darn right. You deserve the best of the best. Mobile One Extended Performance. Advanced technology, proven anti wear protection, guaranteed for 15,000 miles. Mobile One Extended Performance. The oil that's changing oil. Introducing the new X Games inspired Moto X bike. Built for performance, 20 inch BMX dual suspension, front and rear disc brakes, and Moto X styled saddle and fenders. Ride Moto X style. Wide open spaces is where I belong. B12, take me to the places that keep me home and alone. Just a few miles north, north of ordinary.
Fortune Bay Resort Casino, a few miles north of Ordinary. Copa del Rey, Brazilian Cup, Serie A, La Liga. Catch top matches from South American and European leagues on Gold TV. Hundreds of soccer matches and behind-the-scenes features every month, all on the new Sports Pack from Mediacom. Plus, with Sports Pack, you get hard-to-find NCAA sports like field hockey, wrestling, and lacrosse, now available to digital cable customers for only $3.95 a month. Just call 888-333-4039. The new Sports Pack, only on Mediacom. Technique is dig in, you know what I mean? Create an anchor that can't be moved. You gotta hunker down, dig a hole, and just drive. Feel like you can feel in the sled. Do we've lost three events right now? Draw a line in the sand. Oh, we gotta get this one. You got my game face on. Ah, uh, some serious words here at the Walt Disney World Resort in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Final event of round three, the tug of war. And Mike, what makes this such a challenge is that it's two out of three. Luckily, we've got a two-minute time limit on this, but nevertheless, it'll be a major battle. Two points at stake here in today's final event, and they will be earned. And you know, there's some strategy, because in heat two, it's three on three, then one on one to decide the tie if needed, so... You can only compete in two of your team's tugs, so the captains have to really think about it. The Americans have just dominated this day, and we'll see if that continues as Joey Porter anchors the Americans. There's some pretty scary-looking anchors on either side, huh? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There you go. There you go. Two out of three. Hang on, baby. Yeah, we've had sea dudes, we've had golfing, we've had different events. This is just strength. Who's got the strength and the technique to outwill their opponent? Americans have had the slightest of edge here in the first little bit. Working together, very, very important here. Trotter trying to dig in. You know, both teams, if you just look at the raw weight, pretty even. The Americans in edge now. Kenny Stabler offering encouragement for the Americans. Let's get a pull in. Can they maintain it? That's the question. Uh, Nationals coming back now. Oh. Under a minute to go. Their arms right now are on fire. The Americans have lost their leverage, their advantage, and they're in trouble here. Look at the Nationals. Showing some serious courage. They've lost every event today. Backs against the wall. Just holding in for a moment. Keep an eye on the red flag. Right now, it's clearly on the side of the Nationals. Pull it. You want to pull? Pull. And they're in great shape. That's so much room for the Americans to make up with time running down. Final 10 seconds here. Americans with nothing left to try to pull that flag over. So the Nationals will get this first best two out of three heat to the tug of war. No words needed for those pictures. Oh my God! That's a full body workout. That rope arm will kill me, man. Gotta do a three man. Like these are some of the best athletes in the entire world. And you can see what two minutes of tug of war has done to these guys. I mean, both both teams giving it everything that they had. It looked like the Americans jumped out to the early lead, but you gotta give the Nationals credit. Haven't won an event on the day, and yet they were able to come away here a victor in this first heat. Now you have to come up with some strategy. Who goes next? Because this is a second heat here. Three on three. Okay, Kenny Stabler has selected Porter, Lynch, and Heap, while Archie will go for the Nationals with Trotter, Juravicious, and Human Euro. What kind of strategy you see there, Kirk? 
Well, what's interesting here is the Americans have to win. They have left out Heinz Ward and Peyton Manning. The Nationals have left out Clinton Portis and Eli Manning. Because if the Americans win here, it'll get interesting in a one-on-one -on -one battle. And both teams would have to select between Portis and Eli Manning, Heinz Ward and Peyton Manning. But if the Nationals win this, they get two points. They'll salvage some respect for the day, and they'll have the overall lead after three rounds of this six-round competition. One, two, three. Yeah, they're faking the count. They're faking the count. That's some interesting strategy Eli has picked up there. Faking the count in a tug of war. So the Americans are going one, two, three, and not pulling. <laughs> But Archie Manning, the Arch captain, Arch Eli, have picked that up. Get up, get up, Osa. Let's go. Osa. I got you, Osa. Get up, get, get up. up. For the Nationals. Get up. <laughs> Gotta like the Nationals' chances with Jeremiah Trotter back there anchoring their squad. Remember, these guys, just a short break after an exhausting first heat. Go, go, go. Go. Oh, there's Archie with the count for the national side. They have a slight edge here. And you, Manure, right there at the point, just digging in that big, strong defensive lineman. Save it, save it, save it, John. A lot of scheming here. A lot of strategy. Almost like they caught the Americans strategizing too much, and the nationals pulled that edge. Here in our final 45 seconds. Oh, oh, don't give up anything. Hey, dig in. Let them see. No, dig. Again, the flag favoring the Nationals. The Americans have to be able to come back here to get that flag into their territory. Let's go blue. Whoa. Almost like the Nationals are just playing defense now. Jeremiah Potter taunting Joey Porter, telling him to give up. And he did. And the Americans did. As long as they have one more trick up their sleeves, the Nationals are going to get this win. Clinton Portis kind of representing the uh, the exuberance here by the Nationals and what this final event meant. You know what's crazy? I got a late job on the whistle. Two points for the Nationals. We needed that. Hey, come on, come on. The Americans win the day. But the Nationals get back some pride in the overall lead with two points. You have to be impressed with the Nationals getting down on the day and still being able to come back to pick up two valuable points in the overall standings. And again, it's Jeremiah Trotter. Second year in a row, we have seen his strength and endurance prevail in this tug of war event. So the Nationals get the two points here, and Sam is with the tug of war winners. Do you guys manage to salvage the day? Your pride is not hurt. And I know, Jeremiah, you were out there for both heats. How much does that take out of you? Man, it was tough. It's tough when you got that rope wrapped around you and they're pulling on it. It feels like a python wrapped around me. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a great team effort, man. The guys came out. We were digging in. Coach, coach had a great strategy for us, and, uh, you know, we just went out there and executed the game plan. The ultimate team sport here, team event. Now, I heard they were trying to fake you out. How so? Uh, we saw them a couple times just get ready, one, two, three, and get ready to pull, but they sat, and we figured maybe on a third time they try and pull, and we countered, and uh, I think we did a pretty good job of uh, taking coach's advice, going on a silent count and uh, doing that old quarterback thing, and uh, we whooped a little ass. I think Archie knows a little bit about that. little strength, little strategy for the Nationals as they managed to salvage the day. All right, Sam, let's get the other side of that uh, story from the Americans with Stacy. Real quick, what happened with the beginning of the tug of war? Their coach was over there giving uh, silent counts, and Archie was over there cheating. He was using that old, that old man in magic, a gang of audibles. I didn't, know, I didn't even know you can do audibles in tug of war, but he had it going. Okay, Coach Stabler, you coached your team incredibly all day. What was the key to your success today? Well, I just turned these guys loose. They're all great athletes, but when these guys compete, they really get after it. And, you know, you have players like this, great athletes, just turn them loose and let them go to work. So the Americans are crown champions for today. Stacey, it is a bittersweet victory for the Americans. They win the day, gain one point in the overall. Now the Nationals lead by two as we reach the halfway point of our competition. And next time on the Battle of the Gridiron Stars, can Jake DeLome, Jason Witten, and their fellow Nationals extend the advantage while the Americans are led by Chad Johnson and Willis McGahee continuing to try this comeback. Always bet your money on 85, baby. The battle continues for the best in pro football.
Special thanks to Disney's Wide World of Sports Complex. Kirk, a final thought. Just really impressed with the Nationals' effort. The Americans dominated early, but the Nationals showed a lot of pride in being able to come back and win that final event. With Kirk Herbstreit, Sam Ryan, Stacey Delshuman, Mike Tirico. See you next time on Battle of the Gridiron Stars.